you want to get verified on YouTube. Now there's two different ways when it comes to verification on YouTube. And I know you want to get that check mark right next to your name, but the other way is just to verify your channel. If you haven't done this yet, go to youtube.com forward slash verify. If you've already done this, you'll see that you've already done it. If not, you'll see some options here. And by putting in your phone number to verify your YouTube channel, now you're going to be able to have custom thumbnails and you can live stream and a lot of other stuff as well. Check the link in the description because I have a video already teaching you how to do that. But what you really want to know is how to get that check mark next to your name. On this YouTube article, they tell us exactly why they verify channels. And this is really important for you to understand. What it says is if a channel is verified, it's the official channel of a creator, artist, company, or public figure. And this really is to legitimize an account. So for example, Think Media has the check mark next to it. If you see another channel name that has Think Media has the same profile picture, you know that it's probably a scam. It is not the official Think Media channel. Now I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to get that verification badge, but it is super important that you understand what it does for your channel. And honestly, the answer is not a lot. You can see right here that it says verified channels don't get extra features on YouTube. They also don't represent awards, milestones, or endorsements from YouTube. Really, it's just for the viewers so that we can see when a channel has that check mark that they are the legitimate channel. Now, a couple important takeaways from this article is that if you change your name and you're already verified, you are going to have to reapply because they do not allow you to be verified if you change your channel name. So definitely make sure you have a name that you like and that you want to go with for the long run before you apply for the channel verification. And again, that's not for verifying your channel like we talked about in the very beginning. That is for the verification badge. So the question you're wondering is how do you get verified? And YouTube tells us that you need 100,000 subs and then you can apply for this badge. However, if you have more than 100,000 subscribers, they're not going to give you the verification badge just because of that. There's a few more things that factor into it. So they say right here that they verify channels that are authentic and it actually represents the real creator brand or entity it claims to be. Now, the other thing is that it must be complete. And this is really interesting. You must have a channel banner description profile picture, kind of normal things that we all have, but you also need to be posting content and be active on YouTube. So if you just want to get your channel that maybe is super old and you're not active anymore, but you want to get it verified, they probably will deny you unless you are posting content and active on YouTube when you apply. Now, an interesting note here is that YouTube may also proactively verify channels with fewer than 100,000 subscribers that are well known outside of YouTube. Also right here, YouTube says that they reserve the right to revoke verification, especially if you're going to be violating community guidelines or the YouTube terms of service. To get the badge, you need to apply and go through the verification process. So I have the link right here in the description if you want to check that out. Now, if you don't have 100,000 subscribers yet and you can't apply, it's okay. I actually have a video. I want you to watch this right here. Omar shares how Ryan went from zero to 100,000 subscribers in less than a year and how you can do the same. So I'll see you guys in the next video.